I know this review has been long overdue but hear me out. CF Moto or Motostrad actually flew us all the way to Turkey for the global launch of their 450SR and their off-road oriented 700 CLX ADV. So this was my first ever international event so it's a big thing for me. So thank you CF Moto and Motostrad. So here's a quick recap of the event. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the most striking thing about this bike and obviously it's the looks. So for starters, this is a 450cc twin cylinder sports bike from CF Moto. So this is an all new platform that they created. So all new engine, some shared parts which I will talk about later. But styling wise, I honestly think CF Moto nailed it again on this one. It's very aggressive looking, obviously because this is a lightweight bike made to compete with the 400 Ninjas. But in my opinion, I think this is better than any of the bikes in its class or in its segment but yeah again styling wise it's extremely sporty very aerodynamic a little bit more aggressive on the looks compared to its tamer Japanese rivals and I think it's mostly because of this aggressive looking winglets made out of faux carbon so I'm not really a fan of faux carbon but I think this one is tastefully done another standout about this bike is this very unique looking headlights which is distinctly 450 SR and is unlike any other in the market so this has got to be my favorite sports bike headlight for now but other than those things, there's actually one more thing that stands out on this bike. And it's the first in its class 270 crank engine, which we will talk about later. So now let's get into the details. And let's start off with this ones. And yes, those are Brembo's on a 450cc sports bike. And what's even crazier is that this bike only costs 299,000 pesos. So for that price, you're getting a 450cc twin cylinder Brembo brakes, TFT display, full LED system and an integrated LED side mirror, which I will talk about later. Braking power wise, since only the front have Brembo's, obviously there's a notable difference. But as a first time sports bike user, I tend to use the front brakes more than the rear. So I think Brembo's up front and a standard brake set at the rear is a good call for CF Moto. But going back down to this, I'm really glad that CF Moto installed a Brembo on this sports bike. It makes it a lot much more fun to use and it gives you a lot more confidence whenever you're riding it. Plus, you can never really go wrong with Brembo brakes. As for tires, we have dual slick CST tires, 17s up front and also 17s the rear. And we have a relatively simple designed six spoke alloy wheels, so nothing too fancy. And then moving up here, we have inverted forks, non adjustable, sadly, but that's okay because this is a sports bike. But another thing that's interesting is actually this one. So at first glance, it does look like a built in slider attached to the frame. It's not really meant for big drops or extremely long slides, but still, I'd rather have this than nothing because this plastic part is easier to replace than this plastic fender that extends all the way down here so as you can see this is a fully flared sports bike so this is another thing that i liked about this sports bike because it covers up most of the things that you don't want to be see and it actually cleans up the bottom and the side profile really well so good job there CF Moto. Okay, so now let's move to the rear of the bike. So down here, we have really nicely finished metal parts and plastic parts. Well, actually some of the parts here look and feel better, some of its Japanese counterparts, and it clearly shows in its wide range of premium looking bikes. So really nice and subtle branding here by CF Moto. And there's also one here by the footrest. And surprisingly, I think this has got to be the grippiest foot pegs I have ever used. It's even more grippier than most adventure bikes I've tried. Once you put your foot down here, it's going nowhere. So I'm really loving this one. And surprisingly, this is actually one of the first few things I noticed when I rode this bike. Okay, so now let's move at the rear. And we have a relatively large muffler here. And yes, this is a twin cylinder, but for some reason, it doesn't sound like a twin cylinder. And I think it's partially because of the restrictions that are made along with this muffler, but it doesn't really matter because most buyers of this bike will most likely swap this out for an aftermarket exhaust. So that will definitely make it look and sound better. 
So looking at it from this angle, you'd clearly see the rear winglets or the pass-through here, which I'm not really sure if it does anything, but it certainly does look great with this neat and mean-looking taillight that pulsates every time you turn it on and off. Obviously, because this is CF Moto, so they have to do things a little bit more extra. All right, so moving here towards the rear, we have non-Brembo brakes, like I said. And for the shocks, we have adjustable rear suspension. And surprisingly, I think what we have here is a hollowed out swing arm for lightweight purposes. But then again, this is an extremely light sports bike for its class. Okay, so lastly, I think this is where most people overlook CF Moto. They actually took their time to cover all this up with nice plastic. So even if you're looking at it from this angle, it just looks way cleaner and nicer to look at. Alright, so for the seat, we have a sporty looking seat, relatively soft because it's made out of memory foam in this matte finished leather, which looks really nice with the bike along with this subtle branding. And we also have a rear seat here with some under seat storage that can fit paperwork. And I'm not sure if you've noticed it yet, but this is obviously my new go-to helmet for sports bike. So this is from AGV and this is one of their premium K6 models. And yes, it's made out of carbon fiber, so it's extremely light and I think it really matches well with the bike. So this AGV K6 helmet and this Dynasty Text jacket are actually sponsored by Motorworld and Motor Market here in the Philippines. And you be the judge if it actually looks great on the bike. Okay, so now let's take a look at all the driver-centric controls in this bike. So I'm 5'7 and the bike is around this high and I can easily flat foot it. And as you can see, my foot is going nowhere because of this extremely sticky foot peg. But yeah, riding position-wise, I'd say it's pretty relaxed compared to other sports bikes that I've tried. The handlebars or the clip-ons are actually slightly raised, if you see here. So it's raised by a few centimeters or inches, unlike other sports bikes where the handlebar is a little bit lower, like here. So surprisingly, this bike is actually perfect for daily commutes here in the city, long rides, and even track use. So CF Moto created a relatively well-balanced bike for the commuters and the thrill seekers okay so tank wise i'm not really a fan of the white color although it's slowly growing on me i still very much prefer the black and gray combination which i think looks way better than this one but yeah here again at the tank we have faux carbon fiber and this one is not standard this one was actually attached here just for demo bike purposes but yeah moving here towards the cockpit we have very premium metals and plastic so we have the control stock switch here which i think is also used by their 800 mt models so everything is laid out pretty nicely we have very premium looking grips here bar ends even the levers sound and feel more premium than japanese bikes and also i think this has got to be the lightest clutch ever almost to the point that it's almost too soft for me but obviously i'd prefer a softer or a lighter lever compared to the stiff ones that you'd find in most bikes so this one is a joy to use especially on traffic so now let's turn on the bike okay so aside from the engine i think the tft screen is where cf moto shines the most they make the best looking displays this one in particular looks like a video game console with all the menus and all the settings so you can toggle vehicle information warnings services you can even connect this to your phone, your navigation, to music. You can also change the kilometers to miles. So it's practically like a computer here. And it's not something you'd see on a 400cc sports bike. More so on a price that's 299,000 pesos. I mean, just take a look at the small details. You can even see a small SR450 there with a side stand down. So CF Moto is on a whole different level when it comes to creating beautiful TFT displays. Okay, so moving back here to the controls, we have your horn. We have your left and right turn signals. We also have your back switch, your up switch, down switch, and then your enter for whenever you're toggling on the menu. And lastly, we have your classic low beam and high beam. I also like how everything is conveniently placed so you never have to adjust it. Everything is in control and in reach. So these are the little things I appreciate whenever I'm riding a bike. Okay, so moving here towards the right, we have your engine kill and start switch. We also have a CF Moto branded master cylinder and brake set here which is a nice touch and we also have a hazard switch okay so riding posture wise this bike is extremely light and it's very flickable in the streets i actually rode this all the way from antipolo to Kaliraya lake and i never really felt any stress on my wrist it's more so on the neck obviously because this is a sports bike and you almost always have to crouch in to lessen the aerodynamic drag so another thing i like is this side mirrors so these are the stock mirrors and i know this is not something you'd see on a 400cc sports bike typically you'd see this in sports bikes like ducatis and higher end kawasaki's but for 200 than 99,000 pesos you get this built-in side mirrors that actually folds in when you're in traffic so personally for me they look really nice and i would most probably never change it but if you guys ever do change it i'm just not too sure where you're gonna place the led turn signals 
All right, so HUD-wise, we have your trip A, trip B. We also have your temperature outside, the digital clock, shifting gears. And surprisingly, this bike is one of the easiest bike also to find neutral. So I never had a hard time finding neutrals. And down here, we have your RPMs, your typical engine controls, and your gas gauge. So everything's laid out nicely and clear. Nothing too overly designed. But then again, with the amount of TFT displays that CF Moto is churning out, it's almost impossible for them to mess this one up. Okay, so engine-wise, this one is actually a twin-cylinder 270 crank engine unlike most engines on this class, which is a 180-degree crank. But basically, what we have here is a first-in-its-class 450cc twin-cylinder 270 crank engine. So you'd normally see the 270 crank engines on Tenere 700s, the XSR 700s, and all the Royal Enfield 650cc engines. So in short, really, the main difference for this one is that in paper, it should technically be better with torque it should sound better and also it should lessen the vibrations but personally i think the engine is geared more towards the linear power so it's like very linear power from low to high and as for the sound it can be subjective i think it would sound nicer with an aftermarket exhaust but as for the vibrations i think this is where you'll notice the most difference this bike almost has no vibrations almost no heat on the engines the engine shifts smoothly and perfectly it always engages to neutral so much so that i think this engine is almost too perfect to the point that it kind that takes away some of the raw vibrations whenever you're riding a bike in fact the engine is so lightweight and good that you don't even feel like you're almost hitting 100 already in third or fourth gear the sound doesn't translate to the speed that it makes so definitely an aftermarket exhaust is a must for this bike <laughs> For 299,000 pesos, it's really hard to complain about it. What's really only missing here is the quick shifter and the auto blip. And that can be added along with other upgrades on this bike like the muffler and maybe a stabilizer. At its price point, I think this is the most bang for buck sports bike in the market. Which is really hard to beat. Really, the only thing that's missing here is the heritage because this is a relatively new bike. But nowadays, it's almost impossible to mess up a bike. I mean, just take a look at the whole package. If this was a Japanese bike, this would probably be around the 400 450 range so yeah cf moto is doing us a favor on this one but yeah i think that's pretty much it and i think cf moto built a pretty solid bike here and i think it's a bike to beat at its class it's hard to even compare to a ninja 400 and an rc390 when you're talking about the spec sheet realistically for me the only competitor for this bike is the 400 nk and if you think about it, it only makes sense for CF Moto to use this 450cc platform on their NK lineup. So maybe that's something we'd see in the near future. Again, special thanks to Moto Strada for flying me all the way to Turkey to experience the all new 450 SR. They flew us to Turkey because these bikes are actually very popular in Europe. Hence, they held the global launch there. And also, I think this bike will be very popular here because of the 400cc expressway rule, which only allows 400cc engines and up to enter the expressway. So yeah, I think this will be a very popular choice here in the Philippines. And stay tuned guys because what I'll be reviewing next is the 700 CLX ADV, which I think is more my style of riding. So please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next episode.